found a note. What did it say? It said, who is John Galt? Midas Mulligan. Who's asking? Someone who knows what it's like to work for himself and not let others feed off the profits of his energy. We're like you and I. Who are you? The National Alliance of Railroads proposes a rule. The anti-doggy dog rule. We say its purpose is to prevent destructive competition between railroads. But in fact, we're squeezing Dan Conway out of Colorado. You are thinking like a politician, Jimmy. Colorado is our last hope. If we don't do something about it, there's not going to be a railroad. Eddie, can you give us a minute? I need to have a conversation with my brother. I have a contract with Orrin Boyle. You had a contract. I canceled it. You have no authority. As much authority as you had to do a backdoor deal with Orrin Boyle. Jim, we have to service Ellis Wyatt. He is this company's main priority. I came here today because, well, I met your brother and I was hoping that someone in this business still had a brain. You will get the transportation you need, Mr. Wyatt. I promise you that. We'll see. I've ordered the replacement rails for the Rio Norte line from Reardon Steel. What on earth do you know about Reardon Metal? It is tougher, cheaper, lighter than steel, and will outlast any hunk of metal in existence. You need to have the Rio Norte re-railed with your new metal because it'll be its first showcase. I found an excellent contractor to take over the rebuilding of the Rio Norte line. That was quick. Now you'd be surprised how quickly things get done when you do some actual work and don't rely on political favors. Mr. McNamara, I look forward to working with you as well. Frankly, I appreciate working directly with you. Richard McNamara, I'm offering a society that cultivates individual achievement. I know where such a place exists. Why are so many great men disappearing? Today, the Rio Norte line completed 211 miles of replaced track using the new Reardon steel. I underestimated you. What you need is to replace that bridge. Not a chance. I have to be ready in six months. What if I told you I could have it made in three months and that it would last for centuries? Let me check my budget. If we're going to bring Reardon down, we should do it from the inside. Under my guidance, of course. The National Council of Metal Industries has completed a report that draws public opinion against Reardon. Tagger Transcontinental stocks have plummeted because the State Science Institute has denounced Reardon Metal. Your family's railroad is in real trouble. You and the board are going to transfer the Rio Norte line over to me. Our stock will go back up. Once we see how the Reardon Metal rails perform, I will transfer the line back over to Tagger Transcontinental and return to my job. And what are you going to call this new line of yours, Dagny, because you're not dragging the family name through this? The John Galt line. If I ever meant anything to you, loan me the money that I need. I can't. Dagny, Ken Daniger, I have some good news. I would like to commission from you a rear metal bridge for Wyatt Junction. Excellent. Aren't you curious as to how I'm able to finance this bridge? Okay, I'll bite. Alice Wyatt, Ted Nielsen, Lawrence Hammond, Kenneth Daniger. I'm not at 100% bond sold yet. There, I just made up the difference. You're a good man, Hank Reardon. If the John Gort line succeeds, it's going to make Wyatt unstoppable. Now, what can be done? As the new coordinator, of the Bureau of Economic Planning and National Resources. I have issued a set of directives. I'll sign away my other companies, but they are not getting my medal. Dagny, this is a delegate from the Union of Locomotive Engineers. We're not going to allow you to run that train on the John Galt line. Put that in writing. That you want to stop your men from working and earning a wage. You don't understand. Oh, no, 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 no. You want me to provide the jobs, and you want to make it impossible for me to have any jobs to provide. You can do whatever you want with your men, Mr. Brady, but that train will run if I have to drive the damn thing myself, because if that bridge collapses, there won't be any railroad left in existence. But if it does not collapse, no member of your union will ever get a job on the John Galt Line. Today in Colorado, the John Galt Line made a successful run over its new Reardon Metal Bridge. The controversial metal bridge held up perfectly despite strong warnings from the State Science Institute. 
remember that folder I showed you with the strange engine? I thought we might visit the 20th Century Motor Company. When do we leave? Hank? Now, does it say anywhere on this document who designed this thing? Dagny, this could change the world. The secret you're trying to solve? It's greater than an engine that runs on atmospheric electricity. Ellis Wyatt, who the hell are you? My name is John Galt. I live in a place we call Atlantis. It's a place where heroes live, and I think you'd fit in there. The government we have there respects each of us as individuals and as producers. Actually, beyond a few courthouses, there's not much of a government at all. Bottom line, Mr. Wyatt, if you're weary of a government that refuses to limit its power over you, and if you're ready at this moment to claim the moral right to your own life, then we should leave. And I'll take you there. I'll take you to Atlantis.